What's up? What's up, YouTube? So this time I'm joined by some of my fantastic friends. We've got Aurora Crow and Elixir Elise over here. And we're gonna make a board game out of some of this random arts and craft supplies we've got here. These are on the box says chenille sticks, but I've always known them as pipe cleaners. I've also Same. known them as pipe cleaners. Yeah, so we've got like a bunch of really funky ones. And I think the plan is we're gonna try and make the pieces that move on the board yes. out of these. So making some mans, making some creatures or whatever cool. by folding okay. so, them and cutting them or whatever i think it'll also be fun to like just experiment with what kind of like mechanics or movements we can make mm. with these as well not just pieces because I, I definitely have some some fun ideas for like okay. swings or something you know okay. like moving parts yeah really cool to make so i i'm gonna try and start off by making some standing people maybe um, and that's the way to go i'm gonna try and make a swing we've of got some like a, a legs mm. maybe can you pass me the scissors? I can. I put scissors in the middle. Yeah. No. Whatever you want. Whatever you think oh. might be fun. On first impression, I thought these would be stronger, but they're actually a bit flimsier than I thought. It's probably better. It's probably better. So I, I'm, I'm going to strengthen mine by doubling it over and twisting okay. it. Mm -hmm. I have more black over here if you want. Okay. Black. I pulled them out because I was like, hmm, maybe outline. <laughs> Decisions. What what color does that remind you of? For me, it reminds me of like butterflies or flowers. Can make like it's very lavender. Decoration. Mm, that was a good idea. Map. Really easy to make here. Um, yeah, the art of the game. I, think I have a really small torso person. <laughs> it's like a kangaroo body build. It's like all leg. Oh yeah. I'm making a very, very, very tiny swing. Oh no, my person won't stand up though. It's like the whole point of the big blonde legs. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I've made it so much worse. No. Okay. Alright, I have a man's... Oh, okay. He's definitely not going to stand up on my hand, but it was okay on the table. There we go. This is my man's. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So, I need to figure out how to make a head. Okay, I have... Or something. A little like the the frame for the okay. thing and then maybe i can make something that loops over and like hooks and pivots maybe have like a scale problem i made my guy really big oh yeah this is maybe a very tiny this really is a prototype small. this is a prototype <laughs> just it's a work in progress <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll make them bigger eventually this could be um it doesn't have to be like a human swing it can be a an ant swing okay right we haven't decided ants go on swings for sure i've um <laughs> they don't <laughs> I've That's pivoted. Like sarcastic. I'm confused. <laughs> I've decided to pivot and make my guy's legs really small instead. Okay. Because so I think that might be a better. I'm gonna try and make a like a circle, go. like a little tight like hook by rotating this around when my fingers are pinching. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's a thing. Hey, it looks like a butterfly and a flower Ooh, all in one. I like that. It's it's whatever it is. If you bend it, it's like now it's got like four legs. You know, like the pillow pets. Did you have a pillow pet growing up? Uh, my friends did, but I did not. Kind of reminds me of a pillow pet that's being flattened out. I think I've made Rob from Smash Bros. Oh, it looks just like him. Doesn't have a head, but I've made Rob's body from Smash Bros. I don't know how <laughs> helpful that is going to be. <laughs> I actually like this. I think this is a good a good idea. How did you make that? Quick, teach me. I teach do me not know. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just survived. Okay. And I tried to make the, the fuzzy parts, the loopy parts. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try that. And then I just twisted it until it looked right. Okay. Mm. Um, for someone that does arts and crafts for a living, I am not great at arts and crafts. <laughs> it's funny, because in like high school, or they're always like, oh, you like have to put contact on your books and you have to like cut and glue all this stuff and everyone's always like when am I ever gonna use this <laughs> here's me doing this like almost weekly cutting out stuff and gluing stuff and I'm laminating so things I'm just like Ugh, that's great I should have paid attention in school in, in my office or something how do you do it so easily look my it's like a little bow tie okay I have a hinge mine Just looks like a depressed moth like I thought it would <laughs> oh, the, it's like shoelaces. Yeah. I've got a swing, but it's it doesn't okay. swing freely like I thought it would. No, but, it's okay, much so, friction because of the, the fur. Yeah, I thought it'd be like fun to like do like a mechanic based game, but I'm thinking more and more we just want pieces. Yeah, but what what Crowy here has just given me a really good idea about is that 
We don't necessarily need to have pieces that go on a board. Okay. We can have pieces that go on a person. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Mm. I like that a lot. Um, so we could make something like a crown. We could yes. make something like um, something that is used to identify a player is a board game piece, basically. Yes. Um, so you could do something a like a crown. crown. We could make a flower crown. Oh, I like that. We could make um, like a badge. Like, you or know, like a pair of glasses. Those social deduction games with different roles, mm -hmm. and it's like, this is a way of identifying roles. Yeah, something like that. I, I made my pseudo flower What was thing. that other thing that you said you played where you made, like, ties? Yeah, I, you don't make ties, but the cards themselves are ties. Mm. And the mechanic of the game is you're putting on a tie to go to a specific place. Yeah. And so the tie that you pick to wear that day is, like, your action selection mechanic. Yeah. Um, which I think is really interesting. So we could do something similar to that, where we're building whatever clothing adornments we could, and then we assign meaning to each different one as a way of choosing an action. I like that. Um, I'm going to make a crown then. I liked your idea of a crown. So maybe the crown is like the victory condition. Okay. You're you're trying to get the crown. Oh yes, maybe it's a maybe it's, it's a game of changing one. around who's wearing what. Yeah. Yeah, because then we can maybe put some of the flowers together to make something. We've also got paper and pens, not that we need it just yet, but we can use that to write down rules and... Yeah, if we draw pictures or have cards or something, maybe. Yes. Um, I'm going to try and make a pair of glasses. So I'm going to use the camera to try and guess what my glasses size might be. This is a lot... Oh shit. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. It's maybe the, enough for a monocle. <laughs> Maybe I just have a really big head. Uh, that's probably true. Yeah. It's full of well, you, nasty thoughts. Full of ideas. Well, you're extremely things. tall, so... I am extremely tall. I am seven foot seven. That's not true. No, you're not. <laughs> I, was, I was actually believing that for a second. <laughs> I was like, wow, that like, is tall. He's kind of big, but... He is tall, but he, yeah. you're not that tall. Yeah. <laughs> no. You're gonna gaslight everyone. I don't know. No, my favorite thing is telling everyone I'm 5'10", when I'm actually 6'5". <laughs> and then, like, any man in the room that's pretended to be six foot at one point in their life, like, oh, wants to fight you immediately. No. Okay, I have somewhat of a glasses thing going on here. Are you, it's like a, <laughs> a single glass. Half of a glass. I've got a little star. Oh, that looks great! Uh, Add some gemstones to it. Uh, I will continue the, the spikes all the way around. But I think that's the way to go. I think the, the golden crown should be the victory condition. Okay. And we're trying to make players fight to get it or something. Yeah. Maybe the person who starts with the crown can't win unless they lose the crown and get it again. Well, you don't necessarily have to start with the crown. You don't necessarily have to start with any object. That's true. Like, picking up an object could be the way that you have an ability. Um, so, like, you choose the crown to do this thing, but that means that you get a target on your back and people are trying to fight you. Mm, like the monarchy in um, yeah yeah like magic. the monarch in MTG. So people are going to attack you if you're holding onto the onto the thing. I really wanted to make a Queen Marchesa deck. Oh yeah. When I was first getting into magic and like commander, I was trying to figure out who do I want my first commander to be, and yeah, definitely had um oh there was one that was like a sleeper agent. Mm. Sand yeah something. yeah yeah, it's the black red one. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. I really like that one as well. That looks really cool too. Okay, I think I've done something that it I've sure definitely looks like done something, something. Mm -hmm. it is a thing i'd hope so after all five yeah, minutes the amount of, of yeah eight minutes well, I, I made a flower a bad one but a flower you made a person oh yeah and i person. made a guy i made like, rob is he a bad guy i made rob's body i don't know well kind of we, like he's upside down and like this is his arms oh uh, maybe i don't know it could be anything we kind of like shifted towards the clothing aspect like really quickly and so rob became obsolete well we he could be like you know oh, no. he could be accessory and suddenly you're a giant because this is a tiny person uh, i've encountered a problem what's your problem i i cannot wear the glasses <laughs> i cannot quite wear the glasses Incredible. do they fit on normal sized faces wait let me try <laughs> one that's not Massive person size? <laughs> you put your nose in the eye hole. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Amazing. <laughs> Inspired. <laughs> They're beautiful. <laughs> Inspired. Beautiful. They're lovely. Um, okay, so we have our first piece of clothing, I guess. 
So I'm thinking um, if everyone starts off without a piece of clothing, a, spe- a special magical item, yeah. right? And based on whoever's going first, you take turns picking a magical item, and then that magical item will have will give you an ability to do. Okay. But the idea is to end up with the crown at the end. Okay. So we have the glasses, which might let you learn something about a person. Oh, interesting. So for me, when I think about like wearing clothing, it's like an obvious status about what somebody is doing. Mm -hmm. So what would there be to learn about somebody that you wouldn't know from their clothing? If we yeah. add cards or something, then that's oh, like cards. your yeah. your your secret team. If you wanted to make it like a social deduction team based game, yeah, you could have a secret objective. Mm-hmm. Like the crown could be the this person wins the normal way, but yeah. you could have a secret objective which is like um, make sure this particular person doesn't have the crown, or Ooh. make sure you have this particular item of clothing. We have yeah. secret goals. What about you know like games like. The crew, where yes. you have like a team objective, a cooperative goal, yeah. and you can't really, yeah, maybe it's something you can't really talk about. You need to get each person has like an item of clothing they need, mm. and they have to try and communicate that somehow. Like, yeah, you, so you could have two sets of cards. Um, card set one identifies a player with something. Yeah. So it might be like this is the captain, this is the queen, this is the king, this yeah. is player one, whatever. And then one of the goals would be player one has to be wearing the crown. Yeah. Um, and then the way that the different items move amongst the players is determined by what the item does when worn mm-hmm. or a choice a player makes on their turn. But cool. you can only talk about what your character is. You can't talk about what your secret goal is, I guess. Yeah. Or something like that. Um, so that could be something that we do. Very cool. Um, and then we have to figure out how to tie in the different the different things that we've made. So far we only have head garments. Mm. including Face almost and head yes we could have like um a necklace of some kind we could have a necklace or i might try and i was thinking um i want to make a really soft one not a spiky one yeah you know you know like <laughs> the over the ear headphones the one where the cable goes over the ear oh, yeah, make something like, like some, that i don't know or like a bit an modern ear ring for a yeah an ear where ring ear, the pipe kind of sits on your ear but they're like a dormant yes, is underneath dangles down i yeah. like that a lot um hair Shadow. accessories i can make some hair accessories some bows yeah like kind of kind of alienates bold people but that does we don't want to be discriminatory here so um let me think what else can we do we've got what what if people don't have ears you can't do the earring thing then can you true <laughs> okay you must have at least one ear to play but, this okay, game right yeah i'll put it on the box <laughs> um it's like ages eight and up one ear required yeah oh i will i'm gonna make a watch I reckon. Yeah. A wristwatch. That's something I can do. That's what I don't know. I don't know if I just want to like close it up. That's pretty large, I think. It won't go over my head, though. I've made a crown. Because <laughs> <laughs> I realise that the only way to, to put this on like that is to um, have it be huge. So I might just need to add another layer. Flower crown? Mm. So maybe there's a couple of different... Oh, maybe there's different crowns. Factions. Maybe it's a kingdom game. Yeah, so we have like the fairy crown of flowers, and then we have like the kingdom crown of gold. Oh. Um, and each of them is like a, you have to get your particular factions type of crown. What other types of crowns are there? There's dental crowns. Just make a giant tooth. <laughs> there's... So the game is called Crowns and Frowns. <laughs> <laughs> there's crowns of... Um, you just dropped something on I yourself. do, it's my earrings. Yeah, it fell out. out. Not very well made, is it? Yeah, I think it fell out during the Pokemon filming earlier as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I've made my necklace. It very <laughs> gracefully fits on me. I'm going to add some kind of pendant yes. to yes. it now. That's bright well, orange. If we're doing a crown game, I should stop making the watch, but I do want to complete it. Could well, we I think they should be non-crown items. We have safety pins. We could do like a badge. Oh, I do have safety pins in my desk. I can what if people them. don't wear clothes? That's true. What if you <laughs> must wear clothes to play this game? <laughs> Nudists are feeling very left out. You must wear now. clothes and also have at least one ear. <laughs> yeah. Well, already we're making them wear clothes in some way. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's true. We're, 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 that would be really funny, actually. What do you think? I think it's really good. I think it's a good I job. think it's really nice. <laughs> I do like that. 
I didn't want to do all the flowers because that's a lot of pipe cleaners. So no, that's only fine. the front. The front looks great. But currently a wrist thing going for a watch. I'm gonna continue that. Just be mm -hmm. careful that you can actually take it on and off without I can. It's it unhooks. Okay, nice, nice. Clever. I wonder if we could do this. Do I know enough about geometry to kind of what Bread. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I was recycling my um, like. my swing that didn't work earlier to now be the wristwatch. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Me puzzling out shapes. Okay, what do shapes look like? Okay, I have some kind of a necklace. It looks like the Millennium Puzzle, but 2D. The what? The Millennium Puzzle from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Everyone says, get out! I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh either. Right? I'd like I to learn one day. The only huge nerd here that watched <laughs> cartoons in the 2000s. Oh, I, I was talking about the card game. I want to learn the card game. It's from the... It's from Look, the I even put little hands on my wristwatch. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, wow. Oh, cute. Now it's got... Yeah, right. Tell the time. Um, yes. All right. Let's see what else I can make. I think a second necklace might be a good idea. Maybe we do two of each type that comes up. Okay. So maybe um, a second watch, a second pair of glasses, a second necklace. I'm going to make a second necklace. Okay. Are you using all the black ones no, there? No, I just pulled them out because I think they're important. I'm going to make um like a, a really gothic like choker. Okay. And I'll have to be careful of different neck sizes. That's the ice being made. Yeah. It's groaning. It's groaning. Alright, then sizes. I might try and make another pair of glasses. Bravely. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. I have a very ideal like location for filming some days, and then you hear that, and you're like, never mind. Never mind. Can I steal another block? Yeah. Thank you. Does this look like a diamond? Yes, yeah. it does. Making like a diamond ring? Yes. That's so cool. Oh, uh, I was thinking making it kind of feel large kind of works. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, well, for the game, something being instantly identifiable yes. is better. <laughs> Looking at the mess of pipe cleaners and hoping that things are instantly yeah. identifiable. Like what I what I make now, I'm like, will people know this is a choker? I hope so. Yeah. Um this is not quite going the way I want it to, and the pointy bits on the ends are jabbing me a lot. What are you trying to make? Um, my parents proud. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the second pair of glasses. You like that one? Huh? Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't tell if I've done a good job at holding them together. I'm just kind of hoping for the best at this point. I can't really see what I'm doing. I don't know if my neck size is particularly big or small compared to other people's necks. I have a giraffe nerve. I don't know if that helps you in any way. It's a prototype. We're not having people <laughs> in here to play this, right? <laughs> Just nah, us. The idea is to have a proof of concept. Okay. That looks good. That's really cool. I'm going to cut all the extra stuff at the back. And then you can just untwist it. I think we just need another necklace, which you're working I'm on working now. On. I need a second and then, ring. Well, the ring and the wristwatch are technically in the same category, right? Hand accessory? Yeah. yeah. So what what else could we possibly have? What are we so what are we looking for for the next category for the accessories? Um I'm not sure. <laughs> Almost like a mask. Oh, like goggles. <laughs> I just wanted it to be big enough to fit on my head. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it. it has a lot of extra space here that I could do something with. We didn't end up doing earrings yet. No. We could do earrings still. 
definitely derpy earrings. I don't know what this is, but it's giving me a little rat's vibes. <gasps> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> That's really cute. It's like a black... Well. <laughs> this place is haunted. You want to know what the funny thing is? Is that I put these photos up today. And it already happened to me. Someone had duct taped it together. Oh. oh my god. And I was That's like, sad. oh, it won't happen to the other ones. You've definitely done something wrong if you can just peel it off that easily. No, they're Velcro on with, um... Yeah, I know. The Velcro is supposed to stick really hard. Well, I was trying to decorate the house to make it look nice for people. Yeah. Turns out, I should just not. <laughs> no, you just shouldn't cut the 3M hooks in half. Well, I think you just don't judge me. I'm not judging you. I've had the same thing happen. I won a giant um, MTG art thing off Bassandra. Yeah. It was like 80 centimeters by 40 centimeters, right? Yeah. We hung it up, but we didn't have a high enough weight rating um, for the strips that we used on it, and it fell and crashed and shattered into a thousand pieces because it was glass frame. <gasps> That's so it, was, it was pretty depressing. I don't know if I should just now in the middle of filming. Cool. I'll just Probably wait. not now. Cool. Yeah. That's scary. Just surprise me. So you'll notice mid-filming if all the pictures Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue. So, where are we at? We've got your choker. Um, yes. We've got are we doing the ring. Here? What happened to your wristwatch? Oh, you're still wearing it? I'm still wearing it, it yeah. Okay. It's pretty fancy. And then... I reckon do the two. That's really cute. Matching pair? I like matching pair. Matching it's pair works mechanically. Because you, your goal might be to get the matching pair. Oh, yeah. Well, like, we played... We played something that was like... We played Fluttering Souls. Fluttering Souls says if you have just one um, of this particular butterfly, it's worth two points. If you have two of this particular butterfly, it's no longer worth two points. It becomes something else entirely. Like Bonanza. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so we could do something like that, where if you have one earring, it's this. If you have both earrings, it's an additional thing. And you're mm -hmm. trying to collect this set, so what? I can definitely see that working. And also, you can't wear two pairs of glasses, or you can't have two different, like two necklaces, or yeah. the only thing two you can crowns. Wear two of his earrings. Exactly. Very cool. So we could have like a, a bartering or trade kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We are swapping stuff with people, maybe. maybe. Make coins. Um, that could work. How would we do coins? I guess. Maybe draw them and cut them out. I mean, um, mechanically, I think the. The coins would have to come when we know exactly how things move around between players. Mm, that's or true. how they would get an income, or how they would get... Yeah, I think maybe... Stuff like hook. that. Just like hook it over your ear, I'm thinking. Yeah. Kind of like this. Yes, I like that. That's cool. Must own ears to play. Yeah, at least one. <laughs> Preferably two. Preferably two. I see that's not really good. Thank you. And then it hooks at the back. Is that comfy? Yeah, it's nice and loose on me. Is the front bit pokey? Little, little tiny bit. Is it a little pokey? That's all right. It's like part of the experience, you know. Hmm. No pain, no gain. True. <laughs> um, and then I think I think I just need to like get it to condition to stay in a circle a bit more. So I'll just kind of pull it this way. Hmm. Hmm. It'll work out. Hmm. 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 There we go. That can just sit happily behind in some way. Okay. Choker, crown, wristwatch. Yeah. Done. You got a pen handy? I might have to start writing pens. Some, these, are, these are also pens. Can you just give me a regular pen? I'm a bit scared of this paint. Do you think you're just like a regular human being? All right. So. <laughs> um, component. Okay. Components. So we have our list of things. We've got black glasses. Two earrings. Two earrings. Mm -hmm. Arch um, two earrings. Um, a wristwatch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, purple, glasses. purple glasses. Ring. They remind me of goggles. Yeah, they are a little bit. Diamond ring. Mustache. 
I right, made a moustache, but we don't need it. <laughs> we need to find a way to keep on a person. Uh, true. They just hold it in their mouth all the time. Ah, oh, okay. Sanitary. Did you get this Tasty. one? I have not yet. Um, one moustache. Uh, the moustache, I don't know how to attach. Um, so maybe it's not something we keep on. Maybe it's something that is like a pair of glasses where you have like a thing that runs up and over your ears. Mm, oh, yeah. That could work. Um, one golden crown. I'm like trying to yes and literally everything and it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> one flower crown. What is this? The millennium whatever. <laughs> um, one um, blue necklace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different items. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So this is what we got so far. This is our recipe list of components. <laughs> it's okay. This one seems to be doing great. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. We'll put them together. See how it goes. Um. So. I guess next up is we figure out what the objective is or how to distribute the objectives. Okay. How'd that go? I, it feels like a breathing tube. But I tried to make it pink to like blend in because we yeah. like you. Yeah, it looks good, actually. Haha. -ha. You look like Wario. <laughs> wow. Wa <Wah>, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Wah>, Luigi. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I think in a, in a certain extent, you're matching a clothing component with a goal. Yes. In some way. In some way. Yes, I agree with that. So the goal could be, let's just like play around with the idea of goals. So the goal could be to wear a particular piece of clothing yourself. Yeah. yeah. Or make somebody else wear a piece of clothing. Um, for the second one, we need to identify people in some way. Yes. Like okay. the, the game needs to be able to recognize the players. Yes, separate from the clothing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, probably like the first one a bit better because... It just means less components for us, probably. Because yeah. the uh, easiest way to identify players is by giving them a card that says you are this person. True. But the upside of that is it might be you are the queen. Your objective is get the golden crown. And yeah. it thematically ties in together. Yes, absolutely. Um, so one of our potential uh, objectives is... Yeah, right? Um, one particular item of clothing. Um, what if... Okay, so say it was that, mm. which is like an idea and somebody says like you are the robber you want to steal the crown mm -hmm. and then somebody else is you are the policeman you want to catch the robber mm -hmm. stealing the crown you know like you can so i like these um hidden character idea yeah because we can have stuff like you are the queen you want the crown yeah you are the um attendant yes. or something you also want the queen to have the crown. Yes. And so there's like a, a faction co-op within the yes. game. And maybe there's someone who can identify the queen mm. as the queen. Yeah, well, or... I think the, the component itself would have the ability, like, for example, the glasses might let you look up what someone's character card is. Yes. So you go, I'm the attendant, I need to find the queen, I get the glasses and start looking at people. Yeah. Or you, just, you have to try and convince somebody, hey, I, I will need this because when I wear the glasses, I get this ability yep. or something. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So... Um, we want 10 cards for 10 characters. Hmm. So we want 10, I think not necessarily one-to-one -one matching, but 10 characters that fit with the different stuff that we've got. So I think an easy one is the queen for the crown. Yeah. I like the idea of the attendant. Have the moustache for the attendant. Um, I might the write the matching goals as well. So wear crown. Uh, oh, actually... Um, Two different queens. Okay. For different factions. Queen one is the golden crown. Queen two is the flower crown. Okay. The attendant only cares that our queen wears a crown. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. And then if there was a robber, they'd be able to either steal either crown or maybe they have to steal only one crown and give them that crown. They just have to have a crown at the end of the game. Oh, they have to have a crown at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah okay. So it's like a false queen... Yeah, okay. Kind and they have to like kind of convince people they, they need this at the end of the game. Yeah. Help me get that. Yeah. So hang on, we have the gold queen, we're gonna have the fairy queen. Oh, that's so cute. For the um flower crown. Yeah. Now um, we make like fairy like themed outfits like like a 
caterpillar attendant. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That sounds cool. <laughs> um, so the fairy queen has to wear the fairy crown. We then have the robber, but I don't think the robber is the, the right word for it thematically. Yeah. So, like, what's something else that's, like, an illegitimate heir or... Um, the traitor. Like a, a usurper, maybe? Overthrower. I don't know. Um, Vocab is not my strong point. Yeah, I think usurper is kind of close, but it's a bit less, like, pretending to be. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll just have to do for now until we think of a better... just the false... Yeah, like, yeah, usurper slash false queen. Um, Wear any crown. So the victory conditions will be different for different teams so if the gold queen is wearing the gold crown the gold team wins yeah which could include an attendant but the attendant isn't necessarily on the gold team they the just attendant want... just cares that a queen wears a crown mm. okay. the same goes for the fairy queen the fairy queen specifically wants the fairy crown yeah and then the fairy team would win so if there was a fairy team and a non-fairy team yeah would they be against each other or would there be a third team well they would have independent victory conditions okay so they're cooperative together yeah but they don't necessarily who is what and then you would have the, the third faction which is not specifically either of them and can win with either team okay i think since there's two matching ones we should have like a twin situation yeah or like two oh. with matching conditions yeah okay that's I a like good that. idea so we have two different characters two of the same character shows up and they either want um, each of them to have an earring or one of them wins without the other if they have both. Mm. Yeah. Um, so we're going to call it Fated Pair. Oh, I like that. Um, and it's going to be so the nice. two of them. Um, when oh, nice. if both have an earring, an earring... Or solo win if have both. There could be some role that's like, you know, so chaotic where they're like, they win if nobody else wins. You know, yeah. so they're like, we have some if way of everyone chaos. loses, you win. Yeah. King of Chaos. <laughs> I like it. Goblin. <laughs> If no victory condition is triggered, you win. The angry glasses. I'm very angry. You just just have, like, angry eyebrows. Yeah. But I feel like you don't want people to know, like, people don't want you to... I don't know, it would be, like, really obvious if you're wearing the angry glasses. If that role meant you were trying to cause chaos. Like, nobody would trust you. Isn't that true of all of the roles? Mm. Okay, Um, so... That's true. So maybe, like, you get a card saying, like, what you want, I think, at the start. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get a character card, get a I character think. Card. Um, so the King of Chaos, I think we add an extra clause where if a queen can identify you correctly, mm. you also lose. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's a really good So you good can't idea. just be a huge asshole to you everyone. Can't. You have to be a sneaky asshole. <laughs> you, you that's funny, I like that. Lose. Okay. okay. So that's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what do we have left, though? Like, I what? think we should maybe have some extras, depending on Are what. Are they associated with these? Are we um, thinking that? Are I don't think no? necessarily characters should be directly associated with ones, but I think that certain characters get certain benefits for having particular items. Okay. Like, the queen cares about the crown. Yes. We should think about player count and how many yeah. players, how many of these we should have. That's correct. <laughs> Any thoughts? Good job. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe. I maybe have thoughts. Okay. I think the easiest way to do it is to um, shoot for the maximum player count, which I think in this case is 10. So we just say the game is 10 players, and then you would go after playtesting, you would go, is there a combination of characters that can be played um, that is still viable or whatever? Mm. Um, Okay. So we we just assume that there's 10 players. We assume we just all have 10 friends in total. Do we have 10 friends? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely not, but... (laughs) We're like the two opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> I've like put, I've put like a little little leaf on my head yeah. now. Sprout it's now. sprouted out yeah. and it's like now entwined in my hair. So You're clearly a fairy. Yeah, this is um, uh, I don't know what role it is yet. But I just wanted to wear a it. Fairy moment. <laughs> so we should have some more generic, um, gold queen, fairy queen type 
People that would exist wrong. in a kingdom. Okay. Um. So we could have like a jester. Like that's okay. a, that's a funny like you know ch- like chaos kind of sewing, but maybe is still on that side. Okay. Like if I think about other social deduction games like, um, bottom of the clock. Clock tower, like mm. the outsiders are still of the good alignment, but they do so chaos just by the nature of their, them existing. Yeah. Maybe we want some kind of role that does that for each of the teams. And I can think maybe a jester would fit that role. Okay. Um, What's the jester's goal then? Still to make the good team win. Okay. In some way. The good team win. Well, their specific their, faction. Yeah, their specific yeah. faction. This is less good and bad. This is more two even teams and an okay. unknown third team. Okay. Um, okay, let me... And a neutral team where everyone is like team. for themselves. So I think the, the Jester could work for one of them. Like maybe the like Gold, gold Queen. Crown. So we have like the Gold Jester. The Jester wins if the majority but not all of their own faction wins. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you just... The Jester specifically wins if the other faction's Queen does not win. Oh, yeah. Um, you win if... That has a direct um, opposition to the King of Chaos. Yes. Because if the Fairy Queen loses, the Jester would win. Yes. Which means the King of Chaos therefore cannot win. Yes, okay. Which would mean we would have to have um, more characters than there are players yeah. and a setup where that doesn't specifically interact. <sighs> okay, well, maybe. Which is maybe probably a bigger game than we want to make. It is a bit bigger than what we, <laughs> what we initially wanted. So maybe we'll rethink that one. So just like thematically, mm. other roles in the kingdom could be like chef, um, mm-hmm. like. Uh, no, you just ripping off bottom. Of I really am. I should stop. You could do like an elf uh-huh. to go with the fairy queen. Yes. yes. What would an elf do? You could just do the opposite of the jester, because jesters don't really fit with el- with fairies very well. But if we're not having a jester in play, we need a different oh. thing for that. Oh, it's that the one we're rethinking. Yeah, we're creating yeah. the jester because it. Um, Okay. I wasn't sure if we were going to do that. I like. I still like the role. I just think it should do different things. Yeah. yeah. So what are some other like? I think the the king of chaos can be become a maybe. Yeah. Because I think the gold jester is better. Um, you win if the fairy queen loses. Mm-hmm. Because the gold jester can win independently of the gold queen. Yes. And probably together. And together, yeah. You win if the fairy queen loses, or the gold queen wins. Because both the, the the gold team and the fairy team can win if the, both the crowns are in the right place. So, and the, the jester then loses, the gold jester loses if their team loses, or the, uh, sorry, and the fairy team wins, is that right? Yeah. 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 You win only <laughs> if the fairy queen loses. Mm-hmm. Or the gold queen. You could have somebody that's um, oh, what's what's the name of somebody that like dresses up somebody else? A costumier. A costumier, maybe maybe a handmaiden. Yeah, handmaiden. I like a handmaiden. Like maybe there's a role for the handmaiden where they have to put somebody in a particular outfit or like particular okay. yep. like at some point in the game. They yep. just need to make sure that goes to somebody, and okay. so it can be. Also, a role somebody can lie about saying, like, I'm actually the handmaiden and this person needs to wear the crown at some point in the game, but they'll give it back. But then maybe they're also they're not that person and they're mm. secretly working together and they just want to keep the crown. Mm. Um, so you can play with, like, yeah, making somebody else wear something that you'd like or maybe somebody has an ability to swap two people's items mm. um i like the idea of a character having an ability that is contrary to the earrings so um it's like if there is no one person wearing a pair of earrings you win okay so you're trying to break up the faded pair from coming together yeah um so so you're making sure that yeah nobody's wearing both earrings at once mm. okay like there could be like a black market dealer that has to obtain a particular item and then get rid of it for the game or like they can remove an item no it doesn't work um i have eaten the crown i've eaten the crown the glutton eats item yeah <laughs> you want the but yeah um, there's definitely a lot you can do around um like yeah if you think about the mechanic of you can mm-hmm. pick up items you can wear items you can potentially trade items between people you can talk to other people. Yeah. What 
goals can you find from that? And yeah. the goals that come to mind for me are end up with a particular clothing yourself, convince somebody else to have to change their item of clothing, like um, like make the end goal of somebody else should have this clothing at the end. Yeah. Um, there's the goal of making sure something's moved a particular number of times, maybe. Yeah, okay. I'm having some thoughts. Okay. Um, what you're leading towards is we should find out what the turns look like. Yeah. And I have some ideas for that. Okay. But before we get to that, I think we need to add a character that is the setup of the game. So okay. if you are this character, you select a garment and give what to one player yeah. until every garment has been assigned to a player. That's so funny. So you don't necessarily have a win condition beyond your team winning. Yeah. Um, but you're in charge of where everything goes. So by your team winning, mm. you don't know what your team... Maybe... You don't know who's on your team. You don't no. know your team. So what if that, that role is you select somebody else to then assign everything? That also works. I think that's maybe a bit better because you, you don't have people like talking to you saying like, no, I'm on this team, but it's like they don't know about what team you're on. So somebody yeah. can say like, somebody can volunteer and be like, you should pick me because I'm on this team and I, I, you know, I don't know. Okay. Instead of them having a role and at the start of the game, not being able to do anything after. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, after the start of the game. I feel, I feel like somebody should just get picked. Yeah. That, and then um, they get to do their other role after. Okay, this person is a wizard, apparently. Okay, <laughs> we're going to come back to that in a second. Fairy and a wizard. Fairy and a wizard. A fairy wizard. Yeah. Um, how the game is played. So what I'm thinking is um, everyone sits in a circle. Yes. And we take turns one at a time. Yeah. One at a time, okay. On your turn, you select another player to have a private conversation with. Oh, okay. After that private conversation you then are able to swap your garment with that person. Yeah. But they have to both agree. And that happens publicly. Yeah. And then it's the next person's turn. So it will be a bit slow for people that are not the active player. Yeah. So there could be like a, a general public discussion happening during that time. Yeah. Um, but the idea is to go, you have the garment I need. I need to convince you that I'm the person that benefits from having that garment. Yeah. Um, in that way. Okay. I really like that. I think then we should have some roles that either identify alignment or um, are able to swap positions of people in the circle of some kind. That's really good. Okay. I think the garments will have their own abilities that can do some of this stuff. Okay. I like that. But I think a person moving people um, also works. Yeah. Well, that can be a garment ability as well. Yeah. So maybe that's what the jester does. Maybe that's what the jester does. They're just A different jester. You and you are swapping seats. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe that's what the King of Chaos does. Uh, I'm just going to cross this out. We don't scribble, scribble over this. Okay. We, we, we don't need this. This is junk. And then King of Chaos. conversations, yeah. Maybe there's somebody who can deny a trade once oh, yeah. per game. Or yeah, maybe. force a trade. Um, when you... Like the blackmailer. Um... Say, so you, you need... You will trade that person your item. Um, I've decided. So the King of Chaos now says, when you have a private conversation with someone, swap seats with that player. But that ability only happens one time. So you might get a second private conversation if you yeah. go upwind, but you can't swap again. So that will slowly, over the course of the game, change the seating order. What? No, say that again. I'd if I'm player one, yeah. you're player seven, Yeah. I activate... We have a private oh, conversation. So you choose when to activate it. I choose to swap. Okay. So like I, we have our private conversation. I choose to swap with you. I then become player seven. When the turn order comes back around to me, I will get to have another private conversation with someone, but I can't swap again. Because otherwise what you would do is you would just swap with the next player in the line and you would have every turn in the oh, game. Yeah. Would it be something <laughs> that you are able to use like every second turn? Or do you think like it's just a once per game? Once per game? round. Oh, once per So round. everyone would have a turn in their round. And yeah. then like the next round you could move seats again. I like that. I yeah. like that a lot. That's really cool. Uh, per Thank you very much. Round. I'm going to you need to charge your phone? this phone because I don't think it's very useful anyway. Okay. We'll just make sure that you're in this one. Thank you. Um, so the actual playing of the game is um, on your turn. That's totally so a word. So the person that would get swapped 
would the person you're having a private conversation with only if you move them downwind uh, but they've already had their private conversation with you with you at least yeah okay choose a player to privately converse that's also totally a word um that's a v um privately converse if both agree if both agree swap garments yes so this is less social deduction game more Strategy. social negotiation yeah, game negotiation. um what was the other thing uh when if you're the king of chaos you can swap no, there was, a, there was another thing that you suggested about... Abilities? Yeah, something... Oh, there was like an ability that I wanted to make one of the items Identifying do. Identifying a person. Alignment? So I think one of the glasses should let you look at a player's character card. Okay. Do you want that to be the goggles or the black glasses? The angry eyes? I think the goggles. The goggles? goggles. They let you no, see. The so Clearly purple glasses. In the, in, the, in the fog that is the, they're like the, the ocean they're of They're like unknown. the lens of truth. <laughs> the lens of truth. <laughs> yeah. Of time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> look at player's character card while privately talking i don't i feel like pl character card would just like completely shut somebody's role down but know. it would be rare to look at it okay is so only if you're wearing the purple glasses this yeah. is the only ability in the game that lets you confirm 100 percent this is that person you could actually lie as well and say that they're lying about who they are yeah yeah so the other person has yeah. to then vouch that what they saw was the truth yes so if i care about you being a particular thing you are that particular thing but i can convince everyone else that you were lying to me about being that yeah particular thing. okay that's cool um which is more of a deduction it, it has it has elements leaning. of both it has elements of both because um, i think you do like you have this angle of where you want to be and if you have to lie to get there you can yeah get there. okay diamond ring yes choose a player that person can only privately talk to you <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny yeah <clears throat> but they can maybe they can swap with somebody until else. the garment moves they can offer a swap with somebody else yeah well if the if the ring goes on to somebody else then when that ring moves that person would choose a new um partner for so a, funny yeah it's kind of goofy that's really funny but you have the same problem you can only probably talk to that person oh But then, then the ring won't move around as much, which I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like if you pick somebody for your private conversation and you have the ring, then for the rest of that round, that person can only choose you again. So maybe it's like a targeting, it affects the other maybe person. Maybe it resets every round. Yeah. Each round you have to pick someone. Yeah. I like that. I really like that. That's really cool. Because um, then you're forcing that person to not talk to other people privately. Yeah. Which can be good. Like you can use that to lock down someone that you know is chaos. Yeah. Do you. you do you think that the crown should have an ability? Probably. Or do you think it should just be a win con? Um. I feel like if it I think has the an character ability, card says the crown is a win con. Yeah, but maybe like the crown could have something like check one person's the same faction as you, just yes or no. What about the mind? Or is of the opposing faction. So even if they're in the wrong faction, sorry, even if they're in the not faction team, then it would still say actually they're not the opposing faction. Yeah. So you're more likely to trust them. So it still shows some. Maybe that's a different different um, item that does that. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good idea. Huh? So I feel like I'm just not sure how to implement it. Revealing a character card would be so. Just because currently the revealing. characters are also factions. Oh, that's true. So we would have to have like the card back is the faction. Mm. So you're destroying the card back. Or yeah, maybe the front. Maybe it's like the cards in half, and the th bottom half has like a color of the faction you're in. Or something like that. No, because we need a if if we're doing the one that verifies which faction you are. Sorry, if you're of the opposing faction then yes, revealing that on paper would be very difficult. Mm. So Maybe half character, be a, half faction, I think is good. Would there be like a, a, a game master to it? That could I don't work. think it needs it. So far, it I don't think it. it needs it. Yeah. Because um, there's no invisible things. Invisible? There's nothing so far that cannot be assessed by a player right. at any point. Thank you. I think you should... The mustache is kind of going to be peak. It's upside down. <laughs> Hold on. All yes. right. We're gonna make this work. Yeah, it looks over the ears. Do you want a hand? 
No. It's alright. You guys can keep talking. <laughs> this is fun for okay. Um So we've <laughs> only got really two of the abilities, and we need eight more. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, of all the different items of clothing. Yeah. Okay, the so... earrings are hard because they should do the same thing. Well, I think the but earrings should do like... nothing unless if they're together. Okay, fair enough. I feel like the um, choker looks kind of like more like collar. Maybe it's like a restriction of some kind on okay. someone. So it's like you're, you're prevented from either talking this round or... I, I don't like the you just have to shut up part, okay. but like maybe you don't get a private conversation this round. That's what I meant by talking, yeah. Okay. Or, um, yeah, but then that wouldn't give them the ability to trade it away. So it, it should be... I haven't got that written on my list. It may, maybe Boy, it's something it like powerful, but it's like difficult to maneuver with. Yeah, you can't swap this with people. Peak. But not being able to swap that with people, how do you remove it? How no, do you I... can't choose to swap it from people. People could take it from you, maybe. Oh, okay. But why would you want it? Yeah, you need yeah, an incentive to, to keep it. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe like once per round you mm. can listen into someone's conversation, or once per yeah. round you can interrupt a conversation and deny it or once per round um you can deny a trade because in theory you can pick up more than one item really okay you have to have two earrings right so there must be a way to have a one-sided trade also so maybe any any variation of the trade is fine as long as everyone agrees so it might be me donating an item to you oh okay in which case, if you your goal is to just not have the black necklace, yeah, and the other person has to willingly take it from you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know about the only one. Oh, sorry, more than one garment per person. I feel like maybe if you. I mean, have, it looks beautiful. Obviously, <laughs> you look great. You look great, but I think also <laughs> maybe it might be visually confusing which garment you have you own. yeah so it, it could be for the earrings there could be somebody left with no garment yeah and that's okay yeah um maybe the black necklaces any person with no garment can take this from you yeah and it has a powerful ability okay i like that but the only way you could get no garment is if the earrings come together if you donate an earring if the earrings come together yeah, yeah. if the earrings come together um any person there, there with... yeah. the other one. Oh, it's not my ear. Here we go. The <laughs> can take. But what's the powerful ability that we give it? Well, it could be. I mean, information seems like the most key thing here. Or swapping character. The ability. Cards. To... Oh. Could swap character cards. Could swap character cards. That's a bit insane, isn't it? Yeah. Because that well, swapping characters gives information to both that person you swap with as well. Like, it does. They learn something. So maybe on the... Okay, the choker is really annoying, all right? You don't... Like, it maybe it restricts you from, like, having private conversations, whatever it is. But Mm -hmm. on trading it, Mm. you also will trade character cards. Or, like, you learn... You gain information through trade. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so it incentivizes trade, even though it's annoying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about the... I think the two crowns should do nothing. I actually because think the I character agree. card says you win the game if you have it on the right person. Yeah. Uh, Mustache, what are you thinking? Ooh, I want to hear some more ideas. <laughs> Give us, throw us some ideas. Do you yeah. have any ideas? Um, yeah, I'd like to have ideas. Are you kidding? Your ideas are amazing. Have you seen these earrings? <laughs> yeah, the earrings are good. The earrings are fine. And the flower crown. Um, I don't know. It's kind of goofy. That's kind of the idea. Yeah. This is probably not a game that's ever going to get played. But no, the no. idea is to come up with... I know, but the mustache itself is the goofiest yeah. garment sure. that we have. So the ability should be kind of goofy. Yeah. Or like evil. Yeah. Nefarious. If I think about like mustache, the first thing that comes to mind is like disguise. Like okay. maybe... I was thinking more like a... Just because it's so like obnoxious. I was thinking like more like a person that like... If you have the mustache, you are no longer... Of the the golden court or the fairy court, oh, you're you just you become a neutral person. Oh, you're just a guy. Yeah, you just become a regular dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So if me- you have the mustache, you cannot win with a queen. So what if there was things like roles now that cared about which faction you're in, and could. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, I forgot I had this one on. I was like, <laughs> it's my real watch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You're like, is oh, what time is it? Oh, pipe cleaner. Yeah. Fuzzy or wild. <laughs> yeah, like ways of yeah. Um, if if we do introduce a way of becoming factionless, we should have either benefits or consequences to be, to being part of a particular faction. Yeah. So this one I've just written down. You cannot win with the queen winning. Um, so this is not a penalty to people that already don't care about that, yeah. right? So you're like, that's fine. I'm happy to have that. But if you're the queen, yeah, that's bad. That if you're the attendant, that's bad. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I think that's fine. And like your goal is to find someone to take the mustache from you, yep. which is going to be horrible. Probably. Yes. So how do we convince somebody <laughs> that they really want to take the mustache? I don't know. Maybe there's a role that like doesn't want to be a part of. Your goal is to lose. Yeah. The um, your goal is, Tanner. The goal is not to win. Like yeah. somebody's goal is literally like don't win. You win and they if you want lose. The mustache. Yeah. The normie. The normie. But then what's to stop somebody from just asking, hey, who's the normie? Um, here, have the moustache. Because, like, it's a win-win for everyone, right? Um, yeah, you win if you lose, and no one else can win. Therefore, people won't just That's make the normie win. kind of what we had before, right? Mm. Sort of, yeah. And no one but then else don't we wins. already have it set up? Well, but the goal of the normie is to get wins. the mustache. But if someone finds someone that really wants the mustache, they don't want to give them the mustache. They want to find someone that will just, okay, fine, I'll take the mustache for you because I think that you're going to get a benefit out of it and I'm, I can benefit off oh, that because no my one, team will no win. No one else can win. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. no one else is able to win. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Yes, yes. That makes more sense. Um, so that's the mustache. What about the wristwatch? Ah. Uh. <laughs> limit conversations to five seconds <laughs> no but it's just gonna be in play so it might be a, like true. a particular it's person has um, a thing yes once per game you can end a private conversation early that'd be so funny yeah. or you could ex- I don't know extend it or shorten it yeah I like the idea of um, if you're next in line you could join a private conversation. I like. I quite like that. So it's like your appointment time is here. I quite like that. Yeah. Quite, like the waiting room. Yeah. You know, like so. So you get to listen in. You can't talk or participate. Yeah. But you get to hear it. If your neighbor is in a private conversation, yeah. join them. Oh, that's that's pretty powerful. Should it be both neighbors or just a neighbor on your like left or right? Maybe that's something that like testing. Like yeah. when you play, you go, that's fucked. And you go, okay, we'll change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the idea that we wanted to do. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and then that way you're incentivized to like maybe be convinced, like somebody swap seats with me so I can. Yeah, like, exactly. So the, the seat swapping um, of the King of Chaos is suddenly much more relevant. Yeah, very cool. Because the King of Chaos with a wristwatch can interact with much more people. So we have like these abilities of the characters individually from the like garment and mm-hmm. then we have extra garment abilities mm-hmm. do we want to limit that to just the garment abilities like the king of chaos is an item of clothing that when you wear it you get this ability um, like maybe the roles are just win conditions yeah instead of having character cards you just have the factions that you're on well you could still have character cards like you the win specific win. top end ones like the queen is obviously important yeah and then like um, King of Chaos is a card that when something happens, that's mm-hmm. when you win. Yeah, maybe and that could work too. The glasses can be like you get the to glasses swap is kind of King seats. of Chaos. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we have a pretty solid, a pretty solid base. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. If we were to build an actual prototype and play this, all we would really need is ten character cards from what's written here, mm-hmm. which is not that hard. That's, no. that's pretty, good. pretty good. And we we've already built all of our fantastic um, clothing. For some reason, I made the most chaotic pair of glasses imaginable, but it doesn't fit on my head. Um, and so that that's kind of it. The whole idea was to come <laughs> and try and build a board game out of the random stuff that we and had, then. which was pipe cleaners. <laughs> and with both crowns, you can't lose the game, right? Truly, yeah. So, that's how it works. <laughs> this is this is what this is what game designers like. You are trying to add a recipe to random nonsense that you've put in the box in such a way that it becomes fun for people. And I think what we've made, I think, would be fun. I think it would be interesting to see how this different stuff works and figure out who your queen is and how to get them the crown or whatever. 
Yeah, I, I could definitely see like this being built out a bit further. I think it's going to require a lot of testing, a but lot it, of testing. it would be like pretty fun to try. And 10 yeah. friends. And 10 friends. And 10 friends. So it will probably never be made, but I think we have come across something cool. I think I think had fun. I had fun. Yeah. yeah. Definitely like playing with pipe cleaners while talking game design. Like that's just like my comfort, comfort zones, comfort yeah. characters, comfort topics to talk about. I'm very happy. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that is it from us. Um, I'm Keith. We've got my lovely assistants here. We've got um, Aurora Crow and Elixir Release doing some game design stuff. If you did like this, have a look at some of the other stuff on the channel because we do have a lot more tutorialization on game design kind of stuff. I'm currently building a game. You can go through all of my journey in that from concept to shelf. So I think a lot of that's worth checking out as well. And, you know, Hit the, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have some links for these two in the description. You can go and check them out on Twitter or Twitch, or you can go and hit some of my socials and click on some of my stuff. I don't know, just click, click just like click on everything. Click just buttons. click every button you on the screen. You should comment below what favorite um, item you would like to wear. <laughs> true, true. From this episode. Why no, is it hot this or one? not. And, yeah, and why is it the wrist watch. You know no, I, mean? I, think, I think the ring is actually my favorite one. The ring's really cool. I think not only is like the best pipe cleaner to like item kind of thing, but <laughs> yeah. also like really thematically fits to what we're trying to build. I think these goggles are really like unhinged. Like yes, when you wear them, they make you like, yeah. yeah, there's something about them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let us know. Um, let us know what kind of uh, mechanics you would put in this game if you were to design it, if you were to add to this design that we've made. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just filling out your comment section yeah. now. <laughs> Do it, please. Please fill out my comment section so I can I can tell Elise that she did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs>